Today I'm helping you to get started using your iPad and Affinity Designer for projector sewing. I'm going to go over some of the touch gestures that are going to be very important. I'm going to go over some general gestures first and then we'll go over more uh, specific to some of the tools and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. You, It doesn't matter which hand you use but uh, there are going to be specific fingers and how you tap or press or swipe. The first one we're going to take three fingers and if you swipe down you're going to get a quick menu and you can see I can't do some of these things because they're grayed out but when you select them you can select all. Duplicate is one you're probably going to be using quite a bit. You can also group here when you have multiple things selected. You can either three finger swipe to get that or another way to get that is to long press. Just a tap will not get it. You have to hold it and let go. Okay, so if it's a long press, you'll also get there. Next, this is gonna be very important. I use it all the time. Let's say you are working and I'm just gonna draw a line there and you didn't like how it is, two finger tap will undo. So again, if you are moving things around, you move them and you don't like how you moved it, just double tap, undo, double tap, undo. So it undid several steps and you can keep doing that. So for example, if I'm drawing a line here and I decide I don't like how I draw it, I can undo them in steps. Double tap, double tap, double tap, okay? If you want to redo it, you're like, oh wait, I like that, three three, 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 okay, two, undo, three, redo. Oh, I drew a line on that one, so I'm gonna say undo, okay? Zoom, you're gonna be per usual for it. You can use two fingers, you can zoom in and zoom out, and it doesn't really matter what fingers it will do, but it will rotate it if you are doing that. And that's gonna actually be my next one here. So if you just use your pointer and your thumb and zoom in and then zoom out, you can do that, that's pretty quick, okay? And again, if you accidentally are drawing something, just push undo, because I was actually on the pen tool at that point, okay? Zoom in, zoom out. Now if you take your two fingers and you're zooming here, you can rotate as well going that direction, so it rotates it. If you want to pan around your document, you're gonna take two fingers and you can drag it around. Remember, you can still drag and zoom at the same time, okay? So if you go over my Get Started video, I go over when you are cutting and you wanna keep the same, how to move around to different pattern pieces, I do go over that in my Get Starting video. But if you're just making changes to a pattern and you want to move to a different spot, make sure you keep your two fingers together and that will move the image around so you can get to another section, zoom in and begin working. If at any time you are trying to zoom in and zoom out and you accidentally rotate it and you don't like how it's rotated, you can always reset your rotation by going over here to the navigator. It looks like a square with arrows coming out of the sides. Click on that, there's the rotation here, and you can reset it back to zero. And if you don't want it to accidentally rotate when you want, you can just walk that rotation and it will not rotate the canvas. Just click on that again and it will get rid of that. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about some of the icons that we have here on the side and how that can affect. First, I'm gonna go ahead and select this shape and we're gonna be working on this shape. And if I want to change how light or dark, this isn't really used a lot in sewing, but we're gonna go ahead and hold here and you can see if I drag down, it's gonna get darker and if I drag up, it's gonna get lighter. And you can keep doing that, okay? And get as light as you want it. That's one way to change the color or how bright or light it is. A, a few other things that you can do with that is I can also, if I click on this and I have my fill color and the line color, I can switch them and you just do a quick swipe and you could do it left or right, whichever one's easier for you. And that will switch the line color and the fill color. Now let's say you were working with a pattern and you had it filled, but now you don't want it filled. You want the, the center just to be clear. You're just gonna swipe up and it's gonna get rid of your fill color for you. And you can always fill it back in with whatever color you would like as well on that. 
To get rid of this side panel, you're just gonna click on it again. And I'm gonna come over here to our square here and I'm gonna select the square. There. <laughs> it wasn't letting me select it. I'm gonna select it and we're gonna come over to this stroke. It's right below the color here. And if I click on that and I go up, it's gonna make it thicker. So you can make it as thick as you want. Or if it was too thick and you want it to be more precise, you can bring it down. You can also tap on it and adjust it here. Or you can even type it in what you want. So those are a few ways to adjust the stroke on there. Okay, I'm gonna click it to take it away. If you have something in the center of your screen that you wanna quickly zoom into the center and then out again, you can again come here and you can scrub up and down. That's gonna zoom right into the center of your screen on there on the navigator panel. And that you can click on it and do, do more precise moving around your thing. And I have gone over this on the get started with your iPad as well, a little bit of the navigator panel. I've added a few more shapes to my screen because I want to talk about layers. So I wanted a few more layers in there. I'm going to click on my layers panel. Now, if you take a layer and you're going to swipe to the left, it will give you a menu. You can add it to a selection. You can delete it. You can lock it or even rename it. Locking will make it so you can't make changes to it accidentally. Okay. If you swipe right, it's going to select that layer and you can select multiple layers or whatever layers you want on there. Okay. And if you don't want it, if you want to deselect it, just swipe again. Okay. So swipe to the right. It's going to select it. Now, if I have those all selected and I want to group them together, I'm going to pinch it. Let's try that again. Swipe, swipe, group. Okay, you see how I made a group with those. And now I don't want them to be grouped. I'm going to separate them. And that was a, a swipe out, okay, to separate or ungroup those. So group, I'm going to pinch in, okay, and ungroup, I'm going to pinch out. Now, if you want to select all of the sizes or several sizes at once. I'm going to select the first one. If I want all of the layers all the way down to my triangle, I'm just going to tap with two fingers and it selected all of those layers. And then you could turn all those layers on or off just like that in one click. I'm going to click them back on. So that's just a quick way to turn sizes on and off. Let, let me show you another. So if I'm doing from here to here and then I also want to select that one, you can also do that and then we can turn those all off. And now you have the only size that you need selected and you can work with the size that you need. That's a quick way to select the layers or the sizes that you need. Let me show you that again. Again, Okay, so we're coming to the layers panel. Okay, if I want to turn all these layers back on, select, double tap selects all those and then swipe to the right, it selects that one, click one of them on, they're all back on. If you want to move a layer around, sometimes we do this, you just hold it and then you can move it wherever you want on there. If you're wanting to put an element under a layer or just move it around. If you want to zoom to a selection, if I want to come right to my crescent moon, I'm just gonna tap it, okay? I'm gonna tap it and now that's selected. Tap and that's selected. Tap and that's selected. So if you're just tapping on it, it's going to tap it. And those are cool things or touch gestures you can do with the layers panel. I'll be going over more touch gestures and the toggle command for some of the tools that we'll use for sewing in upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Thank you for joining me today.